ways we can do this. Now I like to start with just one of my legs, lower body stays on the ground, and then I just kind of move back and forth. You want to keep your foot relaxed as you do this, just back and forth, making sure not to tense the calf as you roll, right? If that feels good, we can then move both legs. This one, I'll lift my hips, and I'm just rolling kind of back and forth. Again, trying to let those legs relax over the roller and those calves relax. Our final one, if we need to be more intense, we can take one foot and cross it over and then roll back and forth. So it's just like that double leg, but yet a little bit more uh, pressure into the roller. So first one, you're just side to side. As we go through any of the options, we want to make sure we hit the back of the calf, kind of onto the side, onto the other side, really kind of finding any spots. If we do find a tight spot, hanging out there for just a second, and we can always do a couple pulses with that ankle, pulling our ankle up, and then relaxing it back down, trying to get that calf muscle to relax over the roller for a foam rolling on the calves.